Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Dr. Rule's Hypergalactic Enigmas. And today, I, Dr. Franklin Rule, ask the question, is our moon an artificial body? Now, roll tape! Gentlemen, boys and girls, to mysteries from beyond the other dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today we're going to ask if our moon is artificial. Now, back in 1976, two Soviet astrophysicists proposed that for three reasons, we should believe that the moon is an artificial body. First of all, I should point out that our moon was not born of our Earth. Specifically, they are compositionally different as proven by analysis of lunar soil samples brought back to Earth. First of all, though, our moon is a nearly a perfect circular orbit about the Earth. In other words, it is different from other moons which seem to assume a more elliptical shape about their own planets. In other words, the moon seems to be more in orbit by design rather than by accident. It doesn't seem to be a stray celestial wanderer that happened to become entrapped in our Earth's gravitational field. Secondly, when the Russian lunar vehicle explored the surface of the moon, it found that the mass of the moon is concentrated in an outer shell surrounding a hollow center. Now, hollow centered bodies such as of moons are simply not found in the universe. And thirdly, when one of our own Apollo landing modules was dropped back upon the surface of the moon, it revealed that the surface of the moon is where most of the mass is concentrated. In other words, it yielded a bell-shaped or Gaussian distribution pattern, again arguing for a hollow-centered body. Now, back in 1918, our foremost rocket pioneer, Robert Goddard, argued that in the future, we Earthlings would have to convert asteroids and moons into titanic spacecraft to escape the ravages of the sun when in the future it explodes into a super red giant. Possibly aliens from another world facing that very same dilemma converted one of their own moons into a giant spacecraft and some two, four, six billion years ago they parked it into orbit around the earth. Now I don't know if they're still alive or not but inside the moon if this theory is true we should find living quarters, food stores, engines, and alien bodies either alive or dead. Now, until next time, may the force be with you. Yes, yes, yes.